Customers often ask, how do I decide whether to use electrocompetent or chemically competent cells? In general, electrocompetent cells have much higher efficiencies, typically 1 times 10 to the 10th compared to 1 to 3 times 10 to the 9th for chemically competent cells. However, with electrocompetent cells, an electroporator is required. There is no special equipment required for transformation with chemically competent cells. With electroporation, the DNA sample must be substantially free of ionic compounds and polyethylene glycol, or PEG. This is best achieved by spin column cleanup. For transformation of large plasmids greater than 15 kb, electroporation is much more effective. And please remember, if you ever need any help, you can always contact our technical support at info at neb.com.